Being president of the United States is no cakewalk. There's the whole day-to-day -day running the country thing. Then there's the whole worrying about how you'll go down in history thing. I'll bet Presidents John Tyler and Benjamin Harrison wished they thought about that a little bit more. If they had, you wouldn't be Googling them right now. Then there's Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln looms so large that his story has been told in over 15,000 books and right here in the courthouse where he actually practiced law. Since the assassination of American President Abraham Lincoln on the night of April 14, 1865, the passage of time has only illuminated the importance of his accomplishments. At the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan, several Abraham Lincoln-related artifacts helped to preserve those accomplishments and bring them to life. Among them, a courthouse, a letter, a mask, and a chair. The first Lincoln-related artifact is this, the Logan County Courthouse, where the story of Abraham Lincoln's political career began. Christian Overland is the executive vice president of the Henry Ford, agreed to meet me here. Was this an early stop on the road to the White House? Yes, the Logan County Courthouse was certainly an early stop because this is where he actually crafted his ability to communicate, not just win cases, but to debate, to reach the human spirit, to actually motivate people, to win audiences over. This is where he really crafted his politician leadership. So it's sort of convincing a jury over here, convincing a nation later. That's right. Also at the Henry Ford is a letter handwritten by Lincoln himself. This letter, which he sent to a fellow member of the brand new Republican Party, is more than 150 years old. It contains some of Lincoln's early views on what would become perhaps his most important accomplishment, abolishing slavery. Abraham Lincoln states publicly why the Republican Party must have an anti-slavery plank on their platform he wants to win the North, and he's uh, willing to forego the South to politically gain leadership so he can abolish slavery. Important words, and might I add, beautiful penmanship. Absolutely. While these precious artifacts help outline Abraham Lincoln's deeds, there are other artifacts here that depict the man. This is the life mask of Abraham Lincoln. It was cast by Clark Mills who's an American sculptor. It was done February 11th, 1865, the day before his 56th birthday, 60 days before he was assassinated. And I'm not being cute here. There was no cable TV back then where you could see the president at any hour of the day. That's right, and again, this is the way they captured, one of the ways they captured images of people to share, to live throughout eternity. And as you know, Abraham Lincoln's early death, just 60 days after this mask was made, shook an already fragile nation when he was assassinated while attending a play called Our American Cousin at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. The very chair in which President Lincoln was assassinated that night is now displayed here at the Henry Ford. And fittingly so. The Henry Ford now has on display what could be considered the bookends of Abraham Lincoln's political career, the courthouse where he first practiced law, and the chair where his life and political career ended all too soon. A tribute to a man who would leave an indelible impression on the hearts and minds of a nation.